So we're going to create an elastic file system. This is a service available on Amazon Web Services. So let's get started. So we click on EFS. This brings us to the portal for the Amazon Elastic File System. So we'll click on Create File System. Now we're going to accept the defaults here. So we'll use the default VPC. Uh, you'll also see that we create mount targets. So this is so your EC2 instances can see uh, your Elastic File System across availability zones. So we'll accept the defaults and we'll click next. I'm not going to add any tags, but just for the purposes of this demonstration. Performance mode, we'll select general purpose. If you have quite a few EC2 instances accessing the file system, you can select max IO. And we'll go for the recommended bursting throughput mode. Enable encryption, we'll leave this unchecked at the moment. So now we're just left with the option to create file system. And that's the file system created. So I have Linux EC2 instance, and we'll mount the file system from that instance using NFS. So if we refresh this, you'll actually see the mount targets are still creating. So we can now see our mount points are available. So let's go across to the EC2 instance. The first step is to attach this instance to the same security group as the Elastic file system. So we'll just tick that checkbox and that will let the EC2 instance access the EFS. So if we go back to EFS, go back in, Amazon actually provide mount instructions. So we'll use an NFS client, which is already in the Linux instance that we've spun up. So our first step is to connect to our EC2 instance. So we use SSH to connect to this instance. And that says logged in. Now we can have a look to see what file systems we have attached using df h. So next, we'll create a directory, and this directory will be the mount point for our file system. And there we can see EFS. So the next command we need to use, if we go back to the instructions, you'll see using the NFS client, we can copy this command out and paste it into our session. We're using sudo access to mount this particular volume. So if we send the command df minus h, and you'll now see at the bottom of the list, our file system has been mounted. And using the command dd, we can actually create a one gigabyte file on that particular file system. And now you'll see that's created successfully. Thank you for watching this video.